What's up guys, my name is Tim. This is New Craft Workshop. I got another one for you today where I'm gonna show you guys some items you should be buying on Amazon to save yourself some money out in your shop. Now, if you're like me, there are certain things that you will absolutely pay name brand for, and then there's certain things that you won't. And honestly, there's certain things you shouldn't. So let's get right into this today. I've got five brand new items for you. And at the end, I got a little bonus. I'm going to go over three things that we've actually talked about in one of these previous videos, but you should buy those as well on Amazon. It's just kind of a no brainer, but let's get started with item number one. All right, so first off, let's talk about sandpaper. Now, I know there are a lot of different brands and styles of sandpaper out there, and there's some YouTubers out there that swear by these really high dollar sanding discs to put on their high dollar sanders. If you're making high dollar furniture, it's probably beneficial, but if you're like me and you're more of a hobbyist shop than you are a professional furniture maker, you're probably okay with the Home Depot and Lowe's big box store sandpaper brands. But if that's what you're using in your shop, this is what you should be buying. This stuff on Amazon is, in my opinion, it's just as good as the big box store brands. But let me show you this right here. So this is what we're going to pay for 15 pieces over at Home Depot. And this is what we're going to pay for 15 pieces over at Lowe's. On Amazon, I've got these two packs here that have 60 pieces in each pack. One is 60, 80, and 120 grit. The other is 180, 220, and 320 grit. We're paying $18 for 60 pieces. In order to get 60 pieces at the big box stores, you're going to be at 40 bucks. This is literally a 50% savings by buying your sandpaper at Amazon. Do yourself a favor, quit driving over to the big box stores. Have this stuff dropped over at your door. This stuff is just as good. And as a bonus, this brand actually packs a couple tack cloths in each box to help you with your cleanup. So let's move on to item number two. All right, item number two, this plug cutter set from Montana Tools. Now, if you're like me, I don't do a ton of stuff where I need some plugs, but when I do, I would much rather cut them myself than to purchase pre-cut plugs. This set from Montana is made in the United States, and this set is awesome. It's got this spring-loaded center um, piece that is sharpened to a point so what this is going to do for you is it's going to allow this thing to not slip off when you're using this in your handheld drill let's just say you need two or three or four plugs cut you don't have to load this up into your drill press to be able to get some nice straight plugs cut out without the worry of your plug cutter slipping if you've ever tried to use a plug cutter in your handheld drill you know exactly what i'm talking about the purpose of this spring loaded point right here is to keep it centered and not have this thing walk on you. So let's look at what we're paying for this thing over at the specialty stores. So at Woodcraft and Rockler, we are paying $42 a piece. The exact same set in the exact same packaging over at Amazon is $30. That is a 30% saving and they will deliver it to your door. So why would you purchase this item at the specialty stores when you can save 12 bucks and have it dropped off? So plug cutter, item two, pick some of these up. These are awesome. All right, item three, I'm going to talk about my biscuit joiner. Now, I know a lot of people out there are really into that F word tool company. A lot of YouTubers push it, they love it, I get it. It's high end, it's quality made, I'm not knocking it. But for someone like me who doesn't need something as expensive as a domino, a biscuit joiner 
absolutely fills that need. A biscuit joiner, if you're not aware, is going to cut notches out that accept biscuits. This is going to assist in strengthening your glue joint because when you glue up your biscuit, it's going to swell and it's going to lock that joint down. Very similar to what a domino is going to do, but on a little bit smaller scale. This was actually a predecessor to the domino. I don't know if you guys ever watched Norm Abram back on the New Yankee Workshop. He loved his biscuit joiner. And honestly, if it worked for Norm, as I've said before on my channel, it's going to work for New Craft Workshop. So this particular unit is made by Wynn. Again, I am more closely related to a hobbyist shop than I am a full functioning workshop that is my main source of income. A product like this is more than adequate for what we use it for here in our shop. If you're thinking of venturing into learning about biscuit joinery, I would highly recommend this win unit. Now, for comparison, let's look at what we're going to pay at the specialty stores for their versions of what they sell on biscuit joiners. So let's head over to Rockler and you'll see that this unit at Rockler is $150. Nothing wrong with this brand at all. I'm sure it does exactly what this one does at three times the cost. Let's head over to Woodcraft. The only unit they sell is $289. And while we're looking at this, check out these reviews. This has a one star rating at $289. Now let's head over to Amazon and see what this Win biscuit joiner is going to run you. $51, 4.6 stars. Again, why would you pay $300 for something so poorly rated just so you can pick it up retail at the specialty stores? Biscuit joiner, save yourself some money, pick it up at Amazon. All right, item four is going to be related to the biscuit joiner we just talked about, and that is going to be biscuits, biscuits for the biscuit joiner. Now, biscuits come in a few different sizes. I usually use number 10 and number 20 here in my shop, but when you're buying biscuits, you don't think about the actual cost per biscuit, but when you look at it long term, there is a massive savings when it comes to buying in bulk. So let's look at what we're going to pay for these retail at the specialty stores versus what you can get a 1000 count bulk box over at Amazon. So let's head over to Rockler. Right here, as you can see, we are going to pay $15 for 100 pieces. At Woodcraft, we're going to pay $10 for 85 pieces. Now, Let's head over to Amazon and you'll notice we're paying 38 bucks for 1,000 pieces. To get 1,000 over at Rockler, it's going to cost you 150 bucks. To get 1,000 at Woodcraft, it's going to cost you 120 plus. Massive savings by buying these in bulk. And as a matter of fact, these are made by Trend, which is also a brand available at both of these specialty stores. Item four, biscuits. If you're buying a biscuit joiner, get some biscuits while you're at it. Save yourself some money. Buy the bulk box. All right, and item five, we're going to talk about trigger clamps. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you know that I like Jorgensen clamps. They are less costly than Bessie, but in my opinion, quality is just as good. Now, these are six inch trigger clamps. If you've never watched my channel before, we always talk about you can never have enough clamps. And two of the most important clamps you should start out your woodcraft journey, your woodworking shop, etc., with is going to be spring clamps and trigger clamps. Those are going to be the most commonly used clamps as a beginner. So let's talk about what we're going to pay for clamps like this at the specialty stores, and then let's compare that to what we can get this stuff for over at Amazon. Now, we're going to head over to Woodcraft, and Woodcraft does not sell Jorgensen. They sell Bessie, but we're going to compare this here, and these are six-inch trigger clamps here at Woodcraft. They are $20 a piece. Rockler's clamps are $22 a piece. Let's compare that to what we're going to get over at Amazon. At Amazon, we are going to get four of these six inch Jorgensen clamps for $40. That works out to $10 a clamp. That is a 50% savings over what we're going to pay at the specialty stores. 
Jorgensen clamps, if you have not tried them, give them a shot. I promise you're going to like them. Quality is great. Cost is great. What's not to love? All right, I got three more bonus things for you today. We have talked about all three of these items before in a previous um, episode of this series, probably two or three months ago. But I want to refresh your memory as to why we talk about this. So we're going to talk about screws. I use a ton of these. These are considered deck screws. We also have these without the coating on them. We call them construction screws. They're available, same pricing structure. Deck screws, brad nails, and CA glue and activator. All three of these items we use a ton of in our shop. And if I can save 50% on all of these items, that adds up to a massive savings throughout the course of a year here in our workshop. So let's start off with screws and let's compare that to what we're going to pay at the retail stores and the big box stores. So right here, if you look at Home Depot, you're paying almost $11 for 125 pieces. Over at Lowe's, it's only $8 a box, but you're only getting 75 of these screws. Compare that to what we're paying at Amazon, which is 35 bucks, but we're getting 800 screws for that price. In order to get that many screws at Home Depot, it's going to cost you around $65. And to get that many screws at Lowe's, it's going to cost you 80. That's a 40 to 60% savings over what you're going to pay at the big box stores. So don't even know why you would consider this. Pick up your screws at Amazon. Massive savings. All right, let's talk about Brad's. Now at Home Depot, we're paying $14 for 2,500 one inch Brad's. Head over to Lowe's, you'll see it's only seven bucks for this Stanley Bostage, but we're only getting a thousand of those Brad's for seven bucks. Compare that to what we're paying over at Amazon. I'm getting 5,000 of these one inch Brad's for $17. To get that many at Home Depot, it would cost us $28. And to get that many at Lowe's, it would cost us 35. That's a 25 to 40 percent savings over the retail stores, the big box stores. Save yourself some money. If you're like me, you use a ton of Brad's. This savings adds up quickly throughout the course of the year. All right. And finally, let's talk about CA glue. CA glue is something I also use a lot of in my shop. If you do not use CA glue out in your workshop, please pick up a pack of this, give it a shot. It's worth the $20 you're going to pay on Amazon. I promise once you start using CA glue to hold your stuff together while you're finishing up your whatever it is you're using to attach everything permanently, you're going to wish you would have started using CA glue sooner. So over at Woodcraft, we can get a six ounce can of activator for $16.50 and a two ounce, that's correct, two ounces of glue is going to run you $23. Over at Rockler, a four ounce can of activator is $10 and a two and a half ounce squirt bottle of glue is $11. Now, look at this pack on Amazon. We're getting two 1.7 ounce containers of glue, which is 3.4 ounces total. And we're getting two 6.7 ounce cans of activator, which is 13.4 ounces total for $20. At Woodcraft, this would run us about $80. And at Rockler, it would run us 40 plus. This is a bare minimum of 50% savings. I have been using this particular brand in my shop for a couple of years. I have zero problems at all with this CA glue. If you use it in your shop, try this stuff out. It's going to save you a ton of money. If you don't use CA glue in your shop, try this out. It's going to save you a lot of time. So, all right, that's all I got for you today. As always, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this video. Hopefully you'll go down below and click on some of those links, pick up some of these items. I do these videos for two reasons. One, Honestly, first and foremost, I do it to support our channel. Every time you click one of those links below, whether you're buying this glue or you're buying something else for your home or whatever, if you get to Amazon through our links, it supports our channel. And for that, we are greatly appreciative. Number two, I do it because honestly, these are bargains. If you use things like screws and brads and sandpaper and glue and you need some clamps, 
any of these items. I always put things on this little series that I do that are true bargains. There are ways to cut costs in your workshop. Everyday items that do not need to be name brand is the easiest and fastest way to cut your costs out in your shop. So as always, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your time today to watch this video. Click on some of those links down below. Help support New Craft Workshop. We greatly appreciate it. We wouldn't be where we were if it wasn't for each and every one of you. That's all I got. We'll catch you guys on YouTube.